I'm David Lewis. I was known in St David's as Di to everybody, Di Lewis, so that's how everybody knew me. Well, I started at St David's Hospital in 1971 as a nursing assistant, uh, a very green, naive nursing assistant. And I uh, was a nursing assistant for about a year and I went into the School of Nursing as a student nurse. Did three years training, uh, became a staff nurse then on two or three wards and then went to do my general training in Glanville Hospital for 18 months. Went back to St David's again as a staff nurse. I was a staff nurse for two or three years and became a charge nurse. First of all on Iron Ward, which is a long stay ward, and then on a female psychogeriatric ward, and then uh, another different female psychogeriatric ward. Then I went into the School of Nursing as what was called an unqualified tutor. Uh, and that was prior going to Cardiff University to do my certificate in education for a year. Um, and I came back then to Glangwilly Hospital because the School of Nursing in St David's had closed uh, for some problem, for some reason. I wasn't there, so I don't know why that closed. So I was a nurse teacher in Glangwilly Hospital for eight years. Then I went back to St David's Hospital in 1991 as a nurse tutor. Uh, and that became Glangwilly Hospital and St David's Hospital Schools of Nursing merged to become the David School of Nursing. Um, and geographically we cover about two thirds of Wales as a school of nursing. Uh, the David School of Nursing then was taken over by Swansea University in the later years and I became a nurse lecturer in mental health nursing. And that's how I retired. I have some very fond memories really. I was a 17 year old, as I said, very naive and all the staff there, far older than me, and they all took me under their wing. I think that the whole ethos of St David's Hospital was one of paternalism more than anything. And I felt part of that, I felt I was being looked after by the staff, the more mature, experienced staff, especially as they knew I was going into the School of Nursing. So they helped me then, taught me quite a few things in that year that I was a nursing assistant before I went into the School of Nursing. We were quite a small group of about 10, I think, and we, we formed very close bonds and um, it was good training. The staff there were brilliant. They were personable, they were encouraging, they were good teachers and we learnt a lot from them. Um, a lot of experience on all sorts of wards from what was called psychogeriatric wards in those days, um, admission wards. Uh, physical care, which was excellent, a, a very good physical care in the St. David's Hospital. Well, the training changed actually in the 1980s. When I was working in Glangley Hospital as a nurse teacher, the uh, new senior tutor came to St. David's Hospital to reinstate the School of Nursing. And the ethos of the teaching changed completely. It was very physically orientated. Uh, when I trained, we learned to catheterize and we, we were in testing to do a lot of physical uh, procedures, um, which was very good. There was a lot of patients needed that sort of uh, care. But in the 1980s, 85-ish probably, around that time, mid-80s anyway, um, more experiential teaching came in, more role play came in, uh, more personalised individual uh, focus on the individual person came in. So the, the, the whole idea of uh, the training and the way that um, patients in St David's Hospital were, uh, were nursed changed, uh, which was a good thing, very good thing. But having said that, we lost a little bit of the more physical aspects of uh, mental health nursing. And I think that we need the two really not focusing just on the mental health, you need to focus on the physical health as well, so that you've got the whole picture of a person and nursing them as a whole rather than just little bits of them. The, the grounds were beautiful. You had uh, a gardener and I think he had an assistant as well. And um, there was a grounds party, so some of the patients were, were paid to work on the grounds. And there were flower beds, the, the grass was cut as it should have been. Um, at, at one time they had an allotment 
close to the um, to the gate in St David's as he went up the drive on the right hand side and I think that was when the two patients who looked after the allotment there. So I think the grounds were kept very, very well, um, clean of litter um, and it, it gave patients something to do, it gave them um, some employment, uh, a bit of work as well, got them out of the um, the, uh, the ward. Um, some patients you know, enjoyed doing it, but um, whether they'd be allowed to do it nowadays, I'm not sure, but the environment was very good. Yeah. One of the things we, we did as uh, uh, nurses was to take patients on holidays. And um, I, I took patients on holidays twice, took them to Trescythe. We stayed at a hostel when I was a nursing assistant and we um, hired um, local catering staff to do the cooking for us. Um, and it, it was very good. Patients, seeing patients outside the, uh, the environment that they were used to, they just changed, some of blossomed and grew a little bit more. You know, they, 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 uh, there's more of smiles rather than being perhaps stuck in a ward for most of the time. Um, another staff then took patients on holidays to Spain and there's films and photos and memories of that as well. So it, it was a very paternalistic way of uh, looking after someone but it was done in a very caring manner with the best of intentions in in the early days that I worked at St David's anyway and then it became more individualistic giving people more responsibility to to look after their own affairs and to look after their own money and uh, even clothe themselves whereas before uh, the hospital did all of that we did all of that <laughs>